Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome to Tip Tut. Now today we're going to take a look at the Adobe Capture app for iOS and Android. Um, and what this is, is basically it allows you to see things in, that you find in real life um, and digitize them for use within the Adobe Creative Cloud or Creative Suite. I think it works in older versions. Um, so things like um, brushes, shapes, uh, patterns, colors, things like that. You can then um, digitize these things that you've drawn or taken a photo of and use them digitally. It's really, really good actually. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do, I'll show you brushes first. Um, sorry, I'll show you shapes first, not brushes. So if you just hit the little add button, it brings up the camera, um, which looks very threatening with all this green stuff going on, but it's actually not. You can see here I've drawn three shapes, um, a sort of hash shape, a brush line and a circle. So if I zoom in on this circle here, you adjust the slider along the bottom. Basically, the green areas are the areas which you're going to include in the drawing and the black and white areas are the ones which are going to be cut out. So you can, as you can see, oversaturate it completely or you can drag it all the way down so there's nothing selected. So once you get something you're happy with, you can just press the capture button. And what this does is that selects your entire area. Just making sure it's focused here before I hit that. Um, there we go. I think that's all right. Good. So that then basically gives you a preview and you can just tap the erase button to get rid of the bits you don't need. Um, I'm just doing this with my finger. You don't need a stylus or anything. It's very responsive. And then you can just crop down to include the bits of the shape that you want. Uh, and once you've done that, you hit the advanced button um, and basically it smooths the shape for you and it saves it. it gives you an image of what you originally used which is perfect um, and this will just appear in your cc library which is fantastic um, and if you hit the tick it shows you what app you should use it in as well so next up is patterns um, this is also very interesting uh, basically if you select a shape it can then give you a duplication pattern um, a number of choices you can see along the bottom there I'm um, just having a bit of trouble um, finding the focus on this because I drew it quite small by accident and if I just get nice and close in on this second version here um, you can see that you can really get lots of different patterns just from this one shape that you've drawn. You're really not limited at all. Um, so if I just snap that, that will basically show you a preview of your pattern. And then you can adjust the crop and the positions and things um, after taking the photograph. Um, you can see I had a bit of trouble focusing, but it still looks all right for a pattern, to be honest. Um, so I can zoom way, way in here and get this kind of patchwork um, tartan pattern. Then you can just save it. And that's it. You're good to go. Uh, it takes a little bit of a while to um, sort of render this, if you like, because it has to obviously make sure that the edges are all repeatable um, because it's no good if they're not, because it's supposed to be a pattern which you can extend and extend and extend. So it takes a little while to analyze that. But once it's done, you have your own pattern. It shows you the original photo and it says, yep, you should probably be using it in Photoshop. So next is colors. Um, and this is really great. You can basically take a picture of anything that is on screen and it'll analyze the best colors of that. So if I just pan up to audition here um, and I can take a, a picture which basically freezes it, it freezes the frame. So you can actually unfreeze and refreeze. Um, and then you can individually adjust each of these colors, which is really, really great um, because although it will let you adjust them, it still only picks the colors which work in that color scheme um, so you can see here I have really dark green or I can go all the way back up to, to, to white if I want to um, or I can try and pick up some of the lighter greens and it really gives you a really nice five color palette to work with um, which is a great starting point for any palette or if you want to just keep it on five colors you can do that too so you just hit the tick takes you over to the palette and saves it to your CC library it gives you the original image just as reference um, and I'm really, really impressed with this app so far. Um, you can even rename it uh, on the phone. So I'll just name this one, um, maybe audition. Uh, and then it says, obviously you can use it in InDesign recommended and things like that. So next, um, is brushes. Uh, so if I go back to these three shapes I had earlier and I quickly select this middle brush here. Um, what this creates is you can even create Photoshop or um, Illustrator vector brushes from this. It's really up to you. And if you tap the screen, it actually inverts. So you, it gives you that Photoshoppy background to see what you'll be cutting out. Or you can do it as like a reverse brush and remove the shape um, just in case that helps analyze it better, basically. Um, so I'm just trying to line this up a bit perfectly. The focus on my phone is quite bad because I'm doing this at nighttime. So uh, the camera isn't great. So that'll do. We'll take that and then we can just adjust the crop um, in the same way that you did it for the shape before. But now we're just choosing this nice brush wiggle that I made. 
Um, get that nice and tight and hit analyze. And basically here it gives you a list of all the different types of brushes you want to create. So you can select multiple, um, but I'm just going to select the uh, Adobe Illustrator ones, I think. Um, so there's the style of sort of the, the default of what you've created. Um, and then you can pick sort of Photoshop or Photoshop Touch or Illustrator or Draw or anything that you want. Uh, I'm just going to choose Illustrator. Illust Illustrator, Illustrator, and you can actually preview the brush on your device, which is really great. Um, it looks really good, actually. Uh, so these are obviously meant to be used in the touch versions of the apps, um, which you can get on mobile, which I'll also be reviewing in the future. So you can save it, of course, and you can rename this one. It's sort of like an ink blob almost. Um, so we'll just call this one ink brush or ink drop brush. Um, and they're really quick and easy to create. And obviously they're very natural because you draw them using a real pen. Okay, so last up we've got looks. And as far as I can tell, this basically works as a filter to be used in Premiere Pro. So <laughs> excuse the, um, the shaky camera there. So if I take a picture of my wallpaper, for example, it gives you a whole set of colors and you can go through kind of like an Instagram filter, if that makes sense. But a way in this would be really useful is say you take a bunch of footage on a cold day and then you're in the same location um, and it's a hot day. You could take a photo of the location. It'll give you all the colors. You can select the ones you want to import and then it imports that as a color corrector, basically uh, a filter to Premiere Pro and gives you the natural warm colors or natural cold colors, whatever you want of that location but the real ones, nothing that you're creating up fake. So it's a really good starting point to um, color correcting in Premiere Pro. Uh, it really, it, I've used it on some footage and some films. And it actually works very, very well because it is naturally from that environment. I think this is the one that I'm most impressed with, even though visually it's the least impressive, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this whole app. You can see it's really, really powerful, really, really useful. And honestly, I find it totally great. I've been using this all the time now. So I hope you enjoyed yourself, guys. I hope you learned something. Um, stick around for more mobile app tutorials in the future. See you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.